Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? It's been a little while since I've done one of these lives. Um, um, I'm sorry, it's, uh, I like to wait until I I get something from the Lord. But I think I'm going to start being like Jeremiah. And it's like, you can't keep it in because it's like fire in the bones. So I think from now on, I'll probably start doing a lot more because it's hard to contain it. It's hard it's hard to contain it because you always, when, when the Lord gives you something, and even if, if, if you just have that feeling, you just want to get it out, but you want to make sure it's from the Lord. Well, I just can't contain it, so I just want to start sharing it with, with everyone. But today's Last Supper is a vision. Now, I had a vision this morning. I shared it at church this morning. Um, and uh, I don't know if, it's, if other people have this, but it's at times when you, you can't sleep, you God has you up and you're fighting like, I want to sleep. I want to rest. I want to rest. And uh, God won't let you rest. Um, some people pray and some people uh, fight it like me. I was fighting it like, Lord, I really want to go to sleep. So he wouldn't let me go to sleep. So this is the vision that I got this morning before I went to church. Like I said, I shared it at church. The vision was some prisoners. Now, it was funny because the prisoners were not like jail, like they were in jail or anything. It was just like, I'm, I'm thinking prisoners of the earth uh, or slaves to the earth or prisoners to the earth. And um, what was so funny about this that, or, or strange, not funny, strange was some of them had no faces, some had no fingers, and some had no hands. And I was like, what, Lord? Because since I couldn't sleep, I, was, I said, okay, Lord. What are you trying to tell me? What does this mean? Why don't these people have faces or these prisoners? Why don't they have faces? Why don't they have fingers? And why don't they have hands? So what God said is the ones that have no faces, they're not seeking me. He said the ones that have no fingers, they're not reaching for me. And he said the ones that have no hands are not praising me. And I was like, wow. You know, that was that was very, very powerful. So I felt like I had to share that with the church today. And I want to share that with everyone with you. Which one of those is us? Do we have no face? We're not seeking him? Are we not reaching for him? We're not praising him? Which one of those do we fall in the category of? And I guess he didn't want me to focus on what type of prisoners or what type of place it was. Because then I would be trying to figure out, okay, well, what, what kind of prisoners, are, what, what, what are they, what place are they in? He wanted me to focus on the face, the fingers, and the hands. And I think that's a, a very powerful message that we can all learn from. Which one of those is us? Are we not seeking him? Are we not reaching out for him? Are we not praising him? That's, to me, that it's been on, on my mind since it came to me this morning. And... I just want to share that with everyone. We need to really, really reach out for the Lord. We need to praise him. We need to seek him. All of us, all of us. Um, time is short, people. Time is getting very, very short. There's a lot of things happening to a lot of people. Uh, you're starting to see more diseases. So we need to make sure that we're seeking him, that we're reaching out to him, and that we're praising him on a daily basis. It's not just on Sundays. We need to do that on a daily basis. Seeking, reaching out, praising. A vision. God bless you every second, every minute, every hour of every day.